Okay, so you wanna first thing you wanna do is you wanna exit Fortnite, make sure it's not open. Uh, and then what now what we're gonna do is we can uh, reset the game user settings for us because there's some settings that aren't in Fortnite itself, uh, and so you need to edit it in the actual file itself. So make sure you can actually, because uh, make sure you can actually access the file. So you wanna hit uh, show hidden files in front of this one. Uh, you want to make sure this show hidden hidden and system files. You want to make sure that's on. Uh, yeah, and then you want to go here. You want to hit percent local app data percent. Uh, you have to type the full thing out by the way, uh, which sucks, but whatever. And then you want to go to Fortnite game saved config Windows client, and it should look something like this. Uh, you go here. And we're going to reset it, so you just want to delete it. And then exit out of there, and then go to Epic Games Launcher. And go to Library. Go to Fortnite, hit these three little dots. Uh, go to Manage. And then under Verify Files, you just want to hit Verify. And then this might take a while, so uh, yeah. Okay, so now once it's uh, done, you just want to open up Fortnite. Uh, it might play the trailers again, but don't worry, it hasn't really reset anything. It's just, it's only reset your video settings, so. So your keybinds are still there, and like your levels and stuff. Just load, load. It, might, it might load up a bit slower than usual, but. Okay, so it's gonna uh, come up with this pop-up. Do you I'm gonna automatically apply the best settings for your system? Uh, these are not the best settings. If you hit confirm, these it won't apply the best. So you just wanna hit decline. I don't know what it determines it off of, but it's usually necklace. Yeah, so this is what I was saying. It's gonna put the trailers, so you just wanna skip that. Uh, so you wanna go here. I'm gonna go to here, and then settings. All right, <clears throat> so all of your video settings are gonna be reset, like I just said. So, uh, windowed mode. Uh, this should be for most of you guys. You want full screen, but if you like to like, if you use like Discord and like to like swap between different windows a lot, then you might want to use windowed full screen. Resolution. This should be set to whatever the highest option is. Um, yeah, VSync off. Frame rate limit. You just want to set this to one above whatever the. Uh, hertz of your monitor is so for most of you that's going to be one uh, your hertz is going to be 60 so you want to do one above that which is 120 like but like if you have a 144 hertz monitor then you want to set to 160 and if you don't know then it probably is just 60 fps so you just want to set it to 120 uh rendering mode performance mode uh these do not affect your graphics and anyone who says it does uh they're lying to you so uh motion blur you want to set that to off Quality presets custom. Uh, this you just want to set to off. This doesn't matter. 3D resolution 100%. Off, 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 off. You get, you get the deal. Off. Uh, view distance medium. Textures low. Effects low. Post processing low. Hardware ray tracing off. Advanced graphics. Uh, this doesn't matter. You can set this on or off if you want. If you want to see, but uh, use GPU crash debugging off. Report performance staff disabled. Uh, audio sound quality low. Uh, if you see an option that says uh, 3D audio, just make sure just turn that on. Uh, it doesn't show up though for some reason. But uh, visual sound effects, you probably want this on. Uh, can help you in your game. Matchmaking region, just set this to whatever you're where you are. Uh, so uh, yeah. And then, NVIDIA highlights. Uh, if you don't use NVIDIA highlights, just turn it off. Perfer peripheral lighting, turn that off. Um, you want to make sure that these are both off. Uh, uh, we'll restart later. Uh, uh, game UI. Uh, uh, wait, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, uh, wait, where is replays? 
Did we go over replays? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Wait, what? Uh, okay, that is weird. I don't know why replays is not showing up, but you want your if you don't use replays, uh, then just if you're, if, yeah. If you don't use replays, just turn it off. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up there. It should. Uh, and you want to hit apply changes and then just get out of here. Uh, open up the Epic Games launcher again. Uh, go to library. Go to Fortnite. These three dots. I'm gonna click it. Go to options. Um, you want to make sure that high resolution textures is off. Uh, for most of you guys, I sometimes use DirectX 12, so uh, you want to turn this off. Most of you guys want to turn this off. And then uh, pre-download stream assets, you want to make sure this is checked. Um, hit apply. And then after it does its thing, uh, you want to... Or for this segment, you guys don't have to do what I'm doing right now, but I'm just going to increase uh, my scale so that you guys can see it better. All right. <coughs> You go here, you want to hit percent uh, local app data percent. You have to type the full thing again. And we're just going to go back to where we originally were. So, uh, Fortnite game saved config Windows client uh, here. And you'll see that your game is just having a switch here now. But it's going to hit edit and there we go. And so there are some settings that are not that don't show up in Fortnite, so you have to edit it through here. Um, so let's just scroll through here and see. Motion blur, false, show grass. This only affects save the world, so if you use save the world, then uh, set it to false. Uh, these ones, you want to make sure that this is false. Latency tweak one, so you want to make sure that this is set to true. Latency tweak two, you want to set this to two. Uh, latency flash, this doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, you want to set this, make sure this is disabled, false. Uh, this doesn't matter. DLS quality zero, false. Uh, use nanite, false. Desired global elimination quality zero. Desired reflection quality zero. Pre nanite, uh, zero, zero, false. Uh, these two should be false. Or yeah, these two should be false. Uh, zero. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if you are on a MacBook, which I don't know how you're following this, if you are on a MacBook, uh, uh, just set this to true if you are on Mac. Uh, uh false, false. Uh, if you're using a stretch res, put in your stretch res here. Um, these two should be set to one. Um, we already set this. Uh, if you want to use, if you want to enable HDR, just set true. If you monitor supports or whatever. And then uh, for this thing, you just want to go into your settings. Uh, HDR, so that you can see right here. So uh, where is it? You should be able to see. You should, you should be able to see somewhere where your, um, how many nits, uh, your thing has, but I'm not sure where to see that, okay. Uh, this one should be false, uh, these ones we already, we, we are, we just set, uh, these ones we just did, um, but yeah. And so these are the settings that they don't show you, foliage, shading, and landscape quality. So you want to set these to one and then one. Um, I found that setting these to zero, uh, it's a bit like unstable, so you just want to set these to one. Uh, but yeah. And uh, you want to go to file, save. Uh, and then, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. Uh, peace.